everyone. So today's video is going to be a fashion clothes video. I realized that I haven't filmed one in a long time, so I just kind of wanted to show y'all some outfits that I've been wearing lately and also some clothes that I've recently bought and I just haven't had the opportunity to wear them out. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a little fashion party in my room. This is my idea of fun, is just trying on a bunch of outfits in my room. And yeah, I hope I'll get some inspiration from this video and I'll get started with the first outfit. Okay, so this is the first outfit and it's half inspired by Mal Goth and half inspired by Vivian Westwood and I can explain. The top half of my body is this corset that I bought and I think that's sort of like the Vivian Westwood style that I'm trying to channel and also this is my first corset that I've like ever bought myself. I don't know why I haven't bought one until now. I think it's because I was just too not intimidated but I feel like I wouldn't know what to style it with and it felt like if I were to wear a corset then I'd have to wear like a dress or something fancier to match it with but in reality like you can wear it with like a pair of pants and it's like this really cool combination of something elegant with something casual so I think the beauty of the corset is that it's super functional and it just looks good on everybody so I'm definitely glad to have a corset in my closet now even if it's not like a real classic corset it still has that like corset feel to it and I also decided to wear this super layered necklace on top of it just to sort of add to that like accessorized look that is mall goth and also of course the, the trip NYC bondage pants I've been going through like a 90s 2000s phase and I realized that this brand a lot of celebrities were wearing and I just think it's so cool like it gives me such a sense of identity whenever I wear these I feel like how spider-man probably feels whenever he puts on the spider-man suit like this is these pants are like crazy and I love them so much they're so detailed and like I don't know it's just so cool to own something that feels so like a part of a culture but yeah these pants are a work of art and corsets are really awesome so i finally bought a pair of cowboy boots it's not that i never wanted a pair actually like i did want to buy a pair but i felt like it was just too outside of my style i could just never really like imagine myself wearing them until I found the pair that I'm wearing right now and I saw them at the thrift store. I touched them and I swear to god when I touched them I had like a vision of all the outfits I could wear with them and I just knew I had to get them. They're like the perfect color, this like rustic light brown color and they're also like the perfect length so like there was really no reason for me not to get them, like they're in my size too, so it was really faded, I think, for me to have a pair of cowboy boots. I think this outfit is sort of like farm girl aesthetic, even though that's like not really a thing yet, maybe. I just feel like Gen Z has to put a label on everything, so that's what I'm calling this outfit, my farm girl outfit. And I think the plaid shirt is also contributing to that. I just really love the length of it. It's like too long to be a shirt but also too short to be a dress and I think that just pairs really well with like a pair of jeans but actually just in general I love when people layer a dress over a pair of jeans I think it's so 2000s and like maybe it's tacky but it's like if you get it you get it type of thing so yeah, I'm just really happy with the cowboy boots. I live in Texas, so I feel like it was just a matter of time before I caved in and bought myself a pair So this outfit is very much inspired by D-squared. There's not like a specific runway, it's just like the entire essence of the brand I thought reminded me of D-squared. I got this shirt from Depop, and actually this whole outfit is pretty much thrifted. But anyways, yeah, the top I think is super unique, and I'm pretty sure it's a kid's top, but it just has this like flair to it, um, especially with like this like under layer of mesh. Like I've never seen a shirt have that before. Yeah, I put this on and I literally just felt like I was on a D-squared runway. And I think it's also the hat. I forgot what these types of hats are called, but it's literally like the core essence of their brand. But yeah, eventually I'd like to make a 
video just dedicated to D squared outfits. Please let me know if y'all would be interested in that. I'm still like, I can't get over the boots. Like I'm so happy that I have the freaking boots. So I think the main character of this outfit is definitely the skirt. I just feel like it has so much character to it. And I feel like the way you can tell if what you're wearing is like a statement piece is if you have to style everything else around it. So like I put the skirt on first and then everything else came after because I sort of had to be like, what can I style that will match with this? But I just really love like the Ed Hardy-esque tattoo design on the top. This is a Betsy Johnson skirt. Betsy Johnson is a brand that I love for its vintage pieces. I'm always on the lookout for Betsy Johnson stuff that I can find on eBay and other apps just because it's a brand that like is so fun and whimsical and it's really easy to find some unique pieces that are vintage. I styled it with some striped socks. I think striped socks are a must for everyone's closet. They're amazing. Like you can literally pair them with so much stuff and then they're just so fun to style. Yeah, this outfit sort of reminds me of a really early Gwen Stefani. Like I'm talking like early, early no doubt days. I saw this picture of her where she was wearing a skirt like this and it's just this like really hyper feminine outfit that's sort of childish. And it reminds me of when I was younger and I had a skirt exactly like this that like is puffy. It was blue and sparkly and I never took it off. And so I feel like this sort of like heals my inner child. But yeah, this is a super fun and cute outfit that I would like to wear one day. Haven't had the opportunity to, but it's satisfying to wear it in my room, so. So I don't know why, but I've been super into like Western inspired outfits lately. Maybe it's because I just live in Texas and I'm surrounded by it, but I swear like I just never imagined myself like going down this route. Like even country music is kind of growing on me, guys. But that's also because I'm forced to listen to it for like seven hours every day at work. So I feel like I've more just like brainwashed into it. But still, I really love this style. I brought back the boots for this outfit. Of course, I had to. And yeah, the blue picnic table skirt I feel like is perfect for summer. This belt right here is like a rope tied belt. So it's sort of like boho chic. And then I'm wearing this, um, this like lace inspired cardigan type of thing over this tank top. Yeah, I feel like all I need is a cowboy hat and I wouldn't even be mad. Like I I want a cowboy hat actually. I just I just need to find one. Imagine this outfit with a cowboy hat. It would be perfect. Like this would be the perfect outfit for like a summer festival or something. Even though I'm not going to any summer festivals, like this is what I would wear. I feel like it would look really cute with like some turquoise jewelry. I've been wanting to buy some some rings. But yeah, just a super cute Texan girl outfit. Okay, I feel like micro shorts are the new mini skirt because every time I go on Depop, like I see so many of them and maybe that's just because it's like curated to my own feed but I swear it's like not just me. I've just started to see them like everywhere and I really like them. I think they're perfect for the hot summer days that are eventually going to come. This is something I'd probably wear on one of those days because I don't know, it's just like a simple outfit, nothing crazy. There's nothing like, that's what I hate about summer is like you can't really wear layers. So like there's not a lot you can do with an outfit other than like shorts and a tank top. So this is what I would wear on a very hot summer day. The top is from uh, this random Japanese brand. I also bought this off Depop and it was pretty pricey. I feel like things that are like Japanese branded tend to be more pricier on Depop. Just because of the import fee, there's um, shipping is just like really expensive from Japan and it sucks, but I feel like it's definitely more worth it to just get it off Depop than to actually to go and buy it off somewhere like Bai Yi because there's just like way more fees and it's just more worth it in my opinion. Anyways, I think the jersey trend is here to stay and I personally really like it. I think it's a lot more fun and creative if you're wearing something that's not actually like a sports team because whenever it's like an actual sports team I feel like it sort of defeats the purpose of it and then it just looks like you're like a fan of that sport or that team or whatever. I know Miss 60 has these like jerseys but 
they're actually like cleaning brands or something I don't know they're super interesting and I think they're really cool and I also just love when shirts have like a random number on it like this one has the number seven who's number seven I don't know it can be whatever you want it to be but yeah that's sort of my whole ideology on the jersey trend <laughs> So this is an outfit I would wear if I was wearing something a little more dressed up, but I still wanted it to be like my style. The top is like this mesh tank top with these super cool graphics on them. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember where I got it from. It was just like this random Etsy page that I got it from. It wasn't like an actual brand. I think it was just someone like selling like their own designs and stuff. The skirt is from Trip NYC. Again, I'm obsessed. And then. I think the star of the show, the star of this outfit, is the socks. I think socks are so underrated as like a style piece. I feel like they hold so much potential in an outfit and I think thinking of them as accessories is like a better way to style outfits and add more pizzazz to them. And like I get compliments on these specific pair of socks like all the time and they're just so cool. Like I've never had a pair of socks that like accentuate an outfit and make it more cool. I believe these were from a brand called Muzkin or something like that. I'll put it on the video but yeah these are just a really cool pair of socks and it makes me want to buy more pairs of socks like this. I think that website also has more pairs but yeah they're just super cute. I think socks are awesome and should be more appreciated. <laughs> Okay, so this is just a really simple outfit I put together. I really love the leopard print and also this uh, like tribal print on top. It's sort of like a clashing of patterns that I think just go well together. This shirt has a story behind it. I found it at this like vintage market. You know those ones that are like supposed to be like really cool and there's a bunch of like resellers there. Yeah, it was one of those. I found this shirt. It was $20 and I was like, that's kind of a lot, but it's a really cute shirt. And so I just bought it. And then just recently I was like, hmm, I wonder where this shirt was from because it doesn't have a tag on it. And I took a picture of it, Google reversed it, and it's actually on Amazon for like $8. So if you want this exact shirt for $8 off Amazon, then... I think it's a steal. That's the thing with thrifting is like you win some and you lose some. Like either it doesn't fit you or someone price gouges you for something they bought for six dollars off of Shein. I guess stuff like that happens but it's still a really cute shirt so I'm not that mad. I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. But yeah this is super cute. Um, I feel like this leopard print skirt is really like versatile. Like I could style probably like a lot of things with it. And it's sort of like a tennis skirt, so it has built-in shorts underneath it. I love, love when skirts have that. Like, it just makes my heart so happy because, you know, like, I think every skirt should have built-in shorts underneath it. It should be a law. But yeah, this is just a simple outfit I would wear. Okay, so if you watched my last vlog, then you would know that I found a pair of capris at the thrift store. And this is my first time styling them. And I think they're really cute. I just think it's a different silhouette to try out because, I don't know, longer pants are just boring and you see them everywhere. You don't see capris everywhere, so I feel like it's just a different way to wear pants. Um, the shirt is from Cop Copine. If you know, then you know that I love Cop Copine. This is just a recent addition to the little collection that I have going on of this brand. But yeah, this outfit is really cute. I feel like like a sexy mom and I feel like that's what everyone should aspire to be. I feel like if I wanted to make this outfit more controversial, I'd probably wear a pair of tabbies. I've been wanting to buy a pair of tabbies for the longest time and I've had my eye on this specific brand, but it's also like $300 a pair. And that's just like way too expensive, even for me who splurges on clothes. Like I've thought about it and I keep adding it to my cart and I just stare at it and I'm like, 
<laughs> maybe one day, maybe one day. Yeah, I would definitely wear a pair of tabbies with this outfit. I feel like it would be the perfect outfit to wear it with. But yeah, this is my Capri's outfit. So I've been really interested in Gyaru fashion lately and Japanese subcultures tend to take things to the extreme and are all about exaggerating things and you know making it as stylized as it can be which for me I just like to dabble in it just a little bit so this is like sort of the outfit I would put together for a Gyaru inspired outfit. These shorts, <laughs> this is like my favorite thing that I've just recently bought. I. Like, like I said, micro shorts are, I think, trending, but specifically the ones with a fur trimmed line. I see them everywhere on Depop, and before, like, I thought they were so cute, but I would just scroll past them and pretend not to see them because I didn't want to buy them because they're a little um, pricier, especially because they're, like, I know people hand make them. These ones are actually from a Japanese brand as well, so they were still expensive because of the shipping fee, but I just I just couldn't deny my desire any longer. Like I had to get this pair. And do I regret it? Absolutely not. I think they're like the cutest thing that I own. And I just really love this outfit. And their cheetah print on the bottom, which is so cute. It's just, it, they're just so cute. And I think this is like the perfect finale for this video. So yeah, that's pretty much all the outfits that I have for today's video. Hope you guys liked the video. Comment which outfit was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!